This ain't happened for me. It's Madden NFL 24, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, here in Dallas, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. But this team this year may have even extra pressure on their shoulders in what might very well be the toughest division in football. And that extra pressure will go on the offensive side of the ball. They'll need consistent play from the quarterback position because they are very explosive. And on the defensive side, they want to continue to take the ball away and make themselves contenders in the NFC East. But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And able to get this out to the 25. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Play one, and Prescott to the air. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's because, you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single-covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. A second down throw for Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 41-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Pollard gets it off the option. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Prescott looks to throw on first. Throw complete right side to Cooks. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks, 27 yards. And the Cowboys will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. 
and all it took was one drive. He burned him, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. For the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Meanwhile, Goff's throw into the hands of Peoples-Jones. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. It'll go as a gain of four. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third. Gone. Targets and finds Reynolds once more. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage, any, anybody could run uh, him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yeah. Backside guys, Man. That, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way. Worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable game. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Well, they'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the 5. Montgomery. 
He is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal as they've got it as we resume action. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Badgley's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Prescott now, option right. He'll grab three yards on the play, taking it himself for the first down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Prescott on first down. Into space at the 45. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Play fake. Here's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny them the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. To throw is Prescott. Cooks on a quick slant. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. 
from the red zone now. Prescott. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Looking to throw. Prescott. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. A well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Now Prescott. Complete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. And this one is right down Broadway. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Khalif Raymond now. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now Goff on first down. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. Second and four. Throw left side complete. That's Montgomery. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And now we've got a third and four. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, 
nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Prescott now on second down. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. First down throw for Prescott. Another one to C.D. Lamb. He's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And his kick is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. The Cowboys were treated to a fine first half from number four quarterback, Dax Prescott. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double digit lead. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. So much of the game today... We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, 
He's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now gone. Oh, short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first and ten, here's Gibbs. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. Here's Goff. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now third down and six to go. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. And that's all about recognition right there because he's got to go from pass rush mode to pursuit mode what defensive line coaches like to call retracing. And he's able to retreat and make the tackle for just a short game. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now that one came close to hitting the big scoreboard up there as the fair catch is made inside the 20-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second and five. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. On play action, Prescott. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. So just three yards on the completion there. And third and eight now. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Off the play fake, Prescott. There again is Cooks, complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. Now a first and 10 at the 11. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. And his ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Touchdown. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from making this a three score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three score game. Love the map there. And at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That is caught by Laporta. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the gun, here's Goff. That's to the sideline and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Throwing again is Goff. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. All right. 
right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is going to have the Lions first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give them a new set of downs. Well, give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 55 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Out of the gun. Gone. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Here's Goff. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Now Goff on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. The field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, if you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Pollard again. And he's got Rome. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On second down, it's Pollard. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
98 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.